So uh, I've been looking for these little ants that I knew we had for quite a while. But I finally found them, so we're going to be able to do this activity today, which is for him to um, find all the ants in here. I'm Rachel with 7 and All, and today I'm going to be taking you with me on a day of preschool or tot school with my toddler. Uh, I'll let you know um, just how our routine goes, that this usually takes place at around 8 in the morning, pretty much first thing in the morning as part of his routine. I tie it into when my baby goes to sleep for his morning nap. My baby is an early bird. He likes to wake up by around 4.30 or 5 in the morning, and he'll be awake for a couple hours. Um, but then he feels very tired by the time around 7.30 or 8 o'clock in the morning and wants to take his morning nap. So once he goes down to nap, then I just take some time to read stories with my toddler and do his different little workbooks and activities. And we do all this before kind of the real school day um, for the older kids um, begins. So this is just our time. So I'll be showing you what I actively do with him. And then I will just let you know later on during the school day, he um, will do his more kind of independent activities. I'll put him in the high chair with Play-Doh or give him some water paint and put him in the high chair or just let him play with his blocks. So that's his more kind of independent time because I'm busy teaching the other kids, but this is the more focused mommy and toddler time. So I'll let you take a peek at how it goes. Yes, that's a body. That's its body. That's its head. Bite. That's a head. Oh, bite. That's its mouth. It has jaws. And these are the legs. Bite. Bite. There's the body. Mm -hmm. There's its legs. Legs. Mm -hmm. One, one Ray. ant. Ray. Yeah, legs. One ant. Two ants. Three ants. Four. See one Ray. ant. You see lots Ray. more. Ah, ah, ants. Very good. Ants live in large groups. A group of ants, the baby ants. Are they cute? Cute? E e he's not eating it, he's carrying it. He's, he's oh, carrying oh, the baby oh. ant. Mama. Oh, mama! Like the mama ant, the queen? So, duh, duh. Oh, they're going into a tree. Some ants don't live underground, they live inside duh. thorns. Duh. Trees, duh. Leaves. 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 Leaves, yes. Some <laughs> Home out of leaves. Oh, a lot of bugs all over the leaf. This is a lot of ants. Brian Fisher is a scientist. Whoa, a lot of ants. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh no, this is a a ant right there. A a ant. He's called the Ant Man. He's discovered more than 800 new kinds of ants. He can't wait to find more. Uh, uh, uh. It's Papa. Pajaro. Pajaro. Oh. Papa. Papa. Pajaro. Pajaro. Y bebe. Oh. Mama. Oh, bebe. Mama. Bebe. Mama. Oh. ¿Dónde está mi mamá? Mama. ¿Dónde está mi mamá? Okay. Wow. Una mamá. Hey. Hey. Huevo. My. My. Sí. sí, egg. También se dice. My. Huevo. Huevo. Oh, muy bien, huevo. El huevo saltó. Huevo. Oh. Huevo, muy bien. Vaya, dijo la mamá pájaro. Mi bebé va a nacer. ¿Qué comer? Huevo, huevo. Dos huevos. Uno, dos huevos. Tengo que buscar algo de comer para mi bebé, dijo. Pobre. Y se fue volando. Oh, el huevo saltó. Saltó y saltó y saltó. Entonces se encontró con un perro. ¿Eres tú mi mamá? Preguntó mamá. el perro. No soy tu mamá, soy un perro, le dijo el perro. ¿Perro? El gatito no hará su mamá. La gallina no hará su mamá. ¿Mamá? El perro no hará su mamá. No, mamá. ¿Papá? Ah, no, mamá. Así mamá. que el perrito siguió su camino. Luego se encontró con una vaca. 
papá. ¿Eres tú mi mamá? Mi mamá. Pregunta a la vaca. No, ¿cómo no. voy a ser yo tu mamá? Le dijo a la vaca. Soy una vaca. El gatito oh. y la gallina no harán su mamá. El perro y la vaca tampoco harán su mamá. ¿Tendría él una mamá? Claro que tengo ¿Qué? mamá. Dijo el pajarito. Yo sé que la tengo. Tengo que encontrarla. La encontraré, la encontraré. Ahora el pajarito no ¿Qué? caminaba corriendo. Sí, automóvil. Sí, sí. Oh, el pajarito no se detuvo, corrió y corrió. Ahora mira a la Oh, ahí está ella. Oh, no fue. Llamo al barco, pero el barco no se detuvo. El barco siguió su camino. Mira así arriba. Um, you'll notice I'll fill out his schedule and I do reverse planning for him. I don't plan necessarily ahead of time exactly what we're going to read each day. I just have in my book the different categories I want to hit and once we've done some of our activities then I go ahead and I write in specifically what we did that day and I'll see oh did I miss a box um, here and there so I'll make sure to fit that in somewhere else during the day. So I just kind of keep it more as a record rather than planning ahead of time. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If there are any of these resources that you would like to use in your top school or preschool at home, I will be linking them below. And if you like this video, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more interesting homeschool content from the 7 and All family.
Bye.